eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. Hey guys, Jules here. Got a healthy snack for you today. There's a storm approaching, and it's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. He is going to be your rescue. So let me just get in. Let me just give God the glory. Father God, I give you all the glory for dreams, visions, words of knowledge. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God, for just being there for us when the storm approaches. Father, I ask that um, you would just take this video to those that need to see. It. And I thank you, Lord, for dreams, visions, words of knowledge and for your word. That's what we're digging into today. I thank you, Father God, for your word. Thank you for Jesus, 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 Jesus. Holy Spirit, take this to those that need to see it. And I slice out every evil tongue that comes flickering against us. In the precious name of Jesus, amen. Guys, we're, uh, we're going to go to uh, Matthew chapter 8, verses 23 through 27, and also Mark chapter 4, verses 35 through 41, and Luke chapter 8, verses 22 through 25. Those are our scripture today. I'll put them in the description box. It's, this is a this is a healthy snack that you need to know about, um, and I'm going to take you into Luke, chapter eight, verses twenty-two through twenty-five. The, even the wind and the waves obey Jesus. In verse twenty-two, it starts off. Now it happened on a certain day that he got into a boat with his disciples, and he said to them, "Let us cross over to the other side of the lake," and they launched out. But as they sailed, he fell asleep, and a windstorm came down on the lake, and they were filling with water and were in jeopardy. And they came to him and woke him and saying, Master, Master, we are perishing. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water, and they ceased, and there was a calm. But he said to them, where is your faith? And they were afraid and marveled, saying to one another, Who can this be? For he commands even the winds and water, and they obey him. And that's that's the last part I wanted. But I just want to talk about this, guys. Guys, brothers and sisters, I love you guys very much. Listen, you got to get into, into the relationship with Jesus. you got to do more than just read a few scriptures here and there or say a prayer, say a Say a devotion in the morning before you go to work. Guys, you got to get into communing with Jesus. Take communion every day. And you got to get into reading God's word. Read his word. You got to get into, uh, you know, just communing or, or, or just kind of um, just being a relationship with Jesus, right? And you got to worship Father God from your heart. And you got to pray daily. And, and then, if you don't humble yourself, guys, you've heard this many times from me. If you don't humble yourself, you will be humbled. You will be humbled. And so I encourage you to confess your sins, to repent from your sins, right? And be baptized. Be baptized and start doing communion daily. And start off your day with it. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's not hard. It's not hard. We have. I have a video in the training tab talks about taking communion and and you know man we we can help you out with that if you need if you if you're like wondering how to do that um, but when you're taking communion and you start to live on the narrow path you be you're becoming a you're not not only are you becoming a disciple of Jesus but you're starting to become a priest of God you're starting to become a priest of God it's pretty cool actually and that's in the order of Melchizedek that's right, in the order of Melchizedek. So guys, I love you guys very much, and I hope you enjoyed this healthy snack. But there's a storm coming. And guys, Jesus is your answer. Jesus is your answer to being rescued. Jesus is your answer to refuge. Jesus is your lifeboat. Jesus is your life ring. Jesus is for eternity. Jesus is the answer for your eternity. Guys, I love you. And this is Jules out. God bless you.